Hey everybody, welcome back. It's a new weekly in Super Auto Pets, even though I don't even, this might go up on like a Friday. I, listen, I recorded the videos when I get a chance, and then when people get sick, I don't record videos, and then I get better, and then I record videos. You've heard me say it a thousand times. Now, and I'm just taking a look here. I'm not looking at every animal. Just, just doing a broad overview of this weekly. I see a green pepper. I see a lemon, very important. I see reasonable amount of food scaling. Some foods we wouldn't mind purchasing, maybe like a shrimp or a rabbit. If there's, or not a shrimp, but just a rabbit. There's no rabbit this week. Okay, never mind. Is there a seal? There is a seal. Okay, interesting. Popcorn, ice cream, no cats. All right, I don't know anything about the synergies this week. This is literally the first run I'm doing. I just did a cursory glance. Here's what I do know. Two fish with a witch hat, sign me up. Let me get a 2-2 two -two mosquito that gives us the chance to two for one. And I'll be, um, how about I'll just be a shy turtle. It's one of the shyest animals, carries his own house on his back. Can you, you know how much more comfortable I would be just in general? If everywhere I went, I had my house with me? You, you're at a, an event you don't want to be at? Tuck your head in. You're already home, you're watching Netflix like, like 30 seconds later. We will go fish. We'll go bluebird, and it doesn't really matter what it hits as long as it's any fish. <laughs> so it does matter, but it was like 75% odd, so I was feeling okay. And honestly, I'm, I'm liking the team right now. Never mind, I'm hating the team. Puh, I spit on you. I spit on my team. I don't respect it. But this level up, this could change everything. You know what? Let me get, like, might as well get some benefit out of the panda. And you know... Or out of, out of the level up, I should say. I feel like a blobfish goes hard as long as there's pills, which there are not. So, not necessarily feeling amazing about that purchase now, but that's okay. There is something about, like, um... Also, that was very nice. There's something about, like, a pug behind the fish here. And then when the blobfish dies, the fish is close to being level 3. Which would at least buff every other unit on the team, even if it is only in the shop, or, or in the battle. It's not permanent, but it, it could be a, a nice little... I got a rice cake stuck in my throat. Nice little uh, stopgap until Kaiser Permanente, okay? But why don't you get out of here? But then you're gonna... Yeah, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> Never mind. Although, wait a minute, now I'm like, we get the... What? And then the... We buffed the panda, and then uh, I don't really know where it goes from here. I hadn't really thought this far ahead. I'm taking my level on, a, on an even number this time. I know it's bizarre. Um, I'm going to add you just because I don't fully understand what I'm doing with this team. But what I do know is that uh, an 11 13 fish is actually going to be like a 13 15 fish, right? Or is it going to be a four to 14 16 fish? I mean, that's, that's very strong for like round round four i'm feeling good about that at least round five comes around i like it i like some garlic we could give stats to our penguin and i don't think we would cry about it uh not our penguin sorry our panda it's a weird one i just don't know what's gonna happen with our uh with our Blobfish. It seems like the pug, if it gets to level two, would stick around, but I don't necessarily think um, the blobfish will without the ability to kill a unit. I don't know if there's like a mantis or or something that could show up later, but otherwise the blobfish is probably not long for this world, or at least not forever. But you know what? It's probably better than the bird and the pug levels. It'll make you level three, which is going to give you like four, four. No, sorry. It's going to give you like 10, 12, which is crazy. I mean, I, even though it's off uh, in terms of the, the order, like it would be better to do it on turn seven to get access to a tier five in the shop. I think the stats give me such a high percentage chance of winning that I got to, you know, take the investment early instead of instead of waiting around. I do feel like I, I could lose to... Uh, well, we're actually going to lose this one. Never mind. <laughs> Turns out I don't know what I'm talking about. But I was going to say I would lose to like any team that actually had garlic. But nobody was rocking the garlic. And I, I don't think the turtle's the right play here. The garlic's still going to be better. 
Don't really feel like pivoting anything off of this. I love this, though. Hold on. And then a rhinoceros. What do you think? Do you think we could... I mean, you're getting sold and you're getting bought. It's a, more of a question of order. So we could make you into... Because you're going to go first, for, for now at least. Could make you into a... I gotta think about it. <laughs> I think you'd be like a 20 something, 20, like low 20s uh, attack, mid 20s HP. I think that's pretty good for a rhino on like the first turn that you could get it. And then we got a very strong fish at the back still. I got no guarantees that this is gonna go exactly the way I want it to, but it, it looks like a pretty good start. And the other thing, and I think everyone's aware of this, the rhino is just also a fun animal. So um, just having the option to actually use it is kind of like a little bit of a rarity for me. Why don't you take uh, a pineapple? You do double damage against tier one pets. I didn't know that. I'm ignoring that was on purpose. I'm ignoring the pug on purpose. I do think I could sell a blobfish to get a toad out there, and I guess we'll just salad for a round. Um, Oh, but now the... Well, it's not that bad if the if the panda goes first, which it will. Because then the rhino will go up a level, which might not be, like, that incredible, but it's... Well, in fact, it's pretty bad because we're going to lose this round. But <laughs> if you ignore that... <laughs> if you ignore that little unfortunate truth, then, uh, then there's a lot to like. I'm going to actually go ahead and say that a lemon is going to beat a pineapple. I'm going to do a, a psycho pivot. I'm going to roll. Really hoping to see like a pear. That's pretty nice too. I'm still hoping to see like a pear. Without a pear, call me crazy here. I think you cupcake the pug so that it gives 50% more of the panda stats to the rhino. But this is obviously not a long-term solution. But we're on lethal, so we don't have to worry so much about long-term solutions, I think. Excuse me, don't, don't weaken me. Don't, don't weaken me. The, the disrespect. I'm out here, I'm fighting for my freaking life out here, and you you go use a toad against me? I'm the only, I am the one who toads, for the record. Take a cupcake again. This strategy is not going to last forever. In fact, it might not even last for now. By the way, there's no chocolate this week, is there? There you go. No chocolate? No chocolate whatsoever. All right, well, hey, we're happy to get levels, you know, where they exist in the shop, I suppose. Don't, don't freaking hit me. I'll hit you. We still living? We're still living? Ooh, we're kind of still living. We're still living. Okay, okay. Now, we have not scaled at all. So that's, uh, that's got me feeling like six might be where this one ends. I'm giving you a cupcake again. I mean, we can't be spending three gold per round on a cupcake. It's just not, it's not cost effective. Panda doesn't really need to level up. Neither does Pug. Although the Pug leveling up would keep us from buying cupcakes every round, but... Oh, not leveling up, but at least like getting some more stats, but I don't know, man. I'm kind of... I did it to myself, and, and here's the thing. That's what really hurts. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. It's kind of unbelievable, but here I am. a good turtle counter um how are we gonna do this realistically hp is always pretty nice i feel like a <laughs> this is not really what i'm looking for but a pug maybe having a melon so it's more likely to be able to survive an attack and um, this seems bad i don't know how we'd, we'd get through that jellyfish I think the answer is that we will Ooh, not quite get through the jellyfish, but I'm, I don't know. I don't feel like that went that badly. I feel like we got a, a, you know, we gated ourselves into like a few dead ends in the shop that I would, I would love to take back. I would just uh, double moth it here. I don't expect our cockroach to be that, like, I don't expect it to three for one. It'd be a dizzy lawnmower. But uh, with four HP, it could definitely, it could two for one. It could one for one, also, is the other thing it could do if we're going up against other mobs, I suppose. It could one for one. 
nothing wrong with that. But we mostly have them out here. Holy cow. Um, just to... We're basically pulling forward our cost. So that next round, we level up for free. And after leveling up, we'll have more money to buy maybe a giraffe. Maybe a, a giraffe would be pretty nice to buff our cockroach a little bit. Or to buff our moth, I suppose. Because the cockroach attack buff is wasted. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll try. I'll try on for size. I do still think like a pug is it's at least okay. Cockroach leveling. We can we can do it at our leisure. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I was just mindlessly clicking. Just just the idle hands are truly a devil's plaything. What have what did I do, man? Okay, I mean, it's not horrendous, but it is pretty stupid. We, we at least made it out of that one unscathed, and then that's like a... I was going to say it's a level 3 moth, but it like kind of isn't just due to the way that the order is going to work because the pug's going to go second. But the moth definitely deserved the, the croissant, if any of our animals deserve a croissant. Obviously, we are looking for... Um, you know, I... Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But ideally, we're looking for, like, a um, a pineapple for our woodpecker would, would hit the spot. A level. Very nice. I think you're not really doing much. Even though we do get the 1-1 one, one on you, it's not really doing that much. A rooster that gets statted would help out a lot. You need this. There is something about, like... No, I think I think you got it right. I think this is right for now. There's a temptation, and, and it might be the right temptation, to get, like, giraffe and chicken going, but I'm always, like, giraffe on turn three on a level up, I'm like, this is amazing. And then giraffe on, um, on, like, the normal turn when it shows up is heavy I sleep energy. It's my, just my personal opinion. And it's probably a, a heuristic I, I cannot rely on, but it feels reliable. What I do know is that a chicken... That's okay. A chicken, all other things being equal, becomes an amazing late game unit. If you get it to tier 2 or tier 3 and you give it like a ton of stats, it, almost nothing in the game can compare to the chicken. And we don't use it that much because usually it shows up late, but you know, to get it a little earlier, it, it, it even provided us some value right there. Okay, this is an important level. The... Um, I mean, I'm inclined to say that the jellyfish has to go. It doesn't seem like a sniper-heavy week. I feel like we can maybe throw a scorpion in here. I'm just going to add the chicken back here. If we can get this chicken to level 2, even just level 2 is, like, it's pretty solid. It would still be something. Okay, great scorpion value there. Very, very happy with myself there. <laughs> Thrilled with the way that that one went down. Trading uh, your 1-1 one, one death touch scorpion for a 5-1 uh, chick. No thanks. We got to rework the team a little bit. Nothing. I would I would probably say sell and then uh, buy. I don't know. What it, how many you do? Seven damage? I might put you on, like, anti-shark patrol just for now. And you know what? Just just in case, take one of those. We're not running away with it right now. We might be in this for the long haul. Our woodpecker is pretty close to getting, like, deprecated, I think. Okay, it turns out your scorpion can be worse. So you, you should always remember that. <laughs> it could always be worse. Um, with the honey heard around the world, though. What an astute decision indeed. Chicken. I think one of the failings of this team right now is we don't have, like, anybody on the squad who really warrants a lemon. And lemon is, like, so good that to not have... Sure, okay. To not have any real recipients for it is, like, it's a recipe for despair. Okay, it's it's... 
It's the same squad. My, my whole squad is dead. It turns out, hey, remember when I said there's not much of a sniper contingent this week? It turns out Tiger, Lynx, Woodpecker can do some work. Now, let's not be the Vancouver Canucks circa 2012 and, like, just because we got beat by that team, now, uh, oh, we have to build the exact team that we just got beaten by, and then you just, you're mired in mediocrity for the next decade. We got a plan. We're halfway through the plan. Let's, let's give it a chance. Just, this is just a hypothetical for me. Maybe the scorpion is the worst animal ever uh, invented in, in video gaming history. Is that possible? Because it hasn't gotten any value for me yet. We did get to five, though. I'm, I'm, I'm not displeased with five, but it, it, obviously it could be better. Just feels like it's not like a monkey into a woodpecker. Just doesn't feel like the way to me. But I'll tell you what. Let's, let's get this going. I'm going to go sicko mode. I'm just going to, like, if that's how we have to get a level two chicken, then, quite frankly, so be it. To get that, I mean, is it better than a scorpion? I don't know. My scorpion has basically just been a 1-1, one, one, so to replace it with a 2-4 with some upside actually seems somewhat sensible, if I may say so myself. I have no idea how this one's going to shake out. I'm going to guess it's a draw, actually. Seems about right. Rye animals. Man named after my own heart. I'm still snoozing. Um, I'm adding you, and I, I couldn't for the life of you tell you why, quite frankly. I don't know what I expect um, the, the woodpecker to do for me here. It's kind of a, a, a situation where sometimes inertia can lead you down a bad path. Doing something dumb would probably be doing something... Doing something smart. Hey, here's the thing. There's known knowns and unknown... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just, like, I know it's wrong, but sometimes... Think of, like... Here's a good example, okay? I can't believe we won that, by the way. You might be... Imagine you're, like, 90% of the way to a degree in college you don't want. And then you think that you might want a different degree, but you'd have to start over from zero. I am 90% of the way to getting the Bachelor's of Science Biology from Queen's University right now. And maybe there's like, oh, uh, this computer programming stuff is pretty fun too. But I feel like with this squad, I might as well run out that last 10% and then decide if I just want to... Well, like we're so close to getting credentialed here one way or the other. I think pivoting would set us back far enough that we could end up losing the entire run before the positive effects of the pivot even come together. Hold on, though. I don't really want to see a llama, to be honest with you, but I do almost feel like I could put a piranha in there instead for now. We got a level two rooster. It's, an, it, it's a 2611. I mean, that's two pretty good chicks that are spawning on the back end of this. And yet we are gonna lose. But that being said, we're not on lethal. I mean, we're on lethal now, but we're, we weren't on lethal as of then. So I think there's still, it's a bit of an outside shot, but I feel like there's still a, a little bit of hope here. Just because the rooster, I mean, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I believe that a rooster is like that good. And the rooster should at this point probably have had the, the lemon on it for a turn or two, but whatever. Now it looks like we're getting smoked. <laughs> it looks, well, I don't know, actually I'm looking at, I'm like, maybe we got a chance here. We don't have a chance here. I'm not too... I mean, it's like the same as last time, right? But with more steps, we got, what, six? Okay, what have we learned? Might be advantageous to, to get an early unit scaling. Like, um, the, the ladybug can scale. That's valuable. Freeze it. You're a scaler as well. Let's run you at the front. I'll keep two mosquitoes around just because they're a pair. And then it's, uh, you're not supposed to, um, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to buff the loyal chinchilla. He's not really, we don't really see a future for the loyal chinchilla, like, into the next round. Like, he's not, he's not the future of the franchise, okay? So, like, let's stop feeding him assists. Although, you know what, maybe you're raising his trade value. There is that. But at least we can get some stats out of, um, 
out of the ladybug. Don't really, I, I mean, if you get a giraffe at an early turn, it seems like there might be scaling there, but otherwise it's like, maybe early food or maybe like an early shrimp is sort of the way to go. But it's, and you know what, we just got one. I think we'd, we'd be foolish not to give it a try right now. I like it. And then you get H, uh, attack scaling off of this, which is exactly what we need. Why don't you take this for now, and I'll just I'll get ready to add you in return. I, I don't. I, hold on, that's my Google Spaces. <laughs> Let me just close that up. Don't want you to think that that was your own. I don't want you to think that your boss is on your case. Hey, where's those TPS reports? You said you'd have them on my desk. That's not. That's that's me. That's me. Okay. So that did not go well. But I do almost feel like like two of these. Roll me, see what you get. Nothing too special. I'm just gonna add you, although a cupcake was interesting to me. And then starting next round, we got a lot of sellability. I mean, I, I, I am basing this off of nothing. This is like source, I made it up. But I feel like, and we're gonna lose this round for sure. I feel like shrimp jellyfish can be like a soft synergy because when you level up useless units, you get the buff. And then, let's give this a, a try at least. Um, you sell them and you get some more stats out of them and then you start building another one out of the jellyfish. But we gotta like, it's gotta happen like now. <laughs> We're not gonna sell the, the ladybug, obviously. I would sell a mosquito to put a lynx onto the team. We're getting a little bit more out of that. The camel was, was tempting for sure. It's looking pretty bad. I'm not gonna pay you any lip service here. This is not, um, doesn't seem like the strongest team I've ever had on display here. Although, never mind. It turns out I might actually be the greatest composer of Super Auto Pets teams uh, in my household, if I had to guess. Let me go one, one of these. I just, I, if we see a level, we take a level. I'm weird like that. You're getting nicely buffed. Let's move you back. Let's buy some food to help out our, our ladybug a little bit because it's by far our best unit. Um, we really need this level 2 jellyfish if the strategy is going to have any legs beyond essentially like praying for miracles, which has worked out like to a small extent so far, but is a pretty uh, untenable strategy to pin your hopes and dreams on in perpetuity, I would say. But hey, there's three. I love it. Um, God, I wish she had, I wish she had just a little bit more for me, but let me see. Nothing special, I think. Something very special that needs to happen right now. And I think we do have to play the monkey here. I think we got to like sell shrimp just because it gives us the right amount of money. And then focus on getting... It, it feels like a weekly based on what I've seen so far. If we could get one... I mean, it's only been two matches. But if we could get one 50-50 with a lemon, I give us really good odds of getting like at least... I don't know. Like, well, this is pretty bad, but... <laughs> At least fifth, like odds of getting like seven, eight, nine wins if you can just get one stacked unit. You should take some of this. At this point, I'd say sell the clownfish and then like let's get some equipment override in here. And you should just take this buff. It's it's definitely good enough to enjoy. You could level up, help out our jellyfish. I should have given you a pineapple earlier too, but I don't know. Now I'm not feeling so bad. We do need to win, every, or at least not lose every round we play from this point onwards. Does that seem likely? I would say it's less likely than likely, but not impossible. We, we at least have some scaling. We got it earlier than most. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to take a chance. I, I almost think like the cow is too good to pass up. So I'm going to cow it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to sell you, buy a jellyfish, I'm going to buy a reindeer, and I think you're, you're literally, um, I mean, actually hitting the reindeer with the, with the monkey seems like an interesting choice. The ladybug is like, it's not a dead end, but I'm not going down the road any further, just in case I have to make a J turn. Um, I think the, the reindeer getting buffed is interesting, but the, the jellyfish is like, everything hinges on that. We're looking for pineapples. We're looking for levels, of course. Lionfish is basically like a toad. Except it works before the toad. 
wood. I'm okay. Seal interested me too. But really, more than anything else, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm looking for like a lemon. And if we're sans lemon, I'm just going to give you a little more balance here. We lose badly to lemon, probably. Lemon, pineapple, and more jellyfish is what I'm looking for. We're lucky we outscaled them. And we're still going strong. They might have screwed up their team with the Komodo dragon at the back. You never know. And look at this. Now, all of a sudden, we're, we've approached respectability once more. It's not everyone's favorite... Uh, choice to make because the lionfish is very good, but I'm, I'm a little desperate in my opinion for some scaling, so I'm going to take the chances as they lie. I, if anything, I would say you could use the melon. And does anybody here need a blobfish? I definitely think the answer is no, so I'm just going to keep a cow. You're very important. You're very important. You could be important as well. There's some, it, it's, a, it's bubbling under the, stir, the surface. There's a certain je ne sais quoi here, if you will. I think we definitely win this one. I'm not sweating it in the slightest. You, you, you can't out-snipe this big jellyfish, okay? This is insanely valuable. Now, I would like to see not jellyfish buffs. Because the jellyfish is getting close enough to max anyway. And you know what? Turn 12, buying a salad doesn't feel great, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Ooh, uh, it's a spawning team. Very interesting. A spawning team. I don't think a spawning team can beat my jellyfish when my jellyfish has lemon. I mean, any damage you did to the jellyfish, we just shrug it off. So I'm not, I'm not worried about that. That's eight, right? Feeling a little bit spicy with it. Why don't you take some support? We still want to see, like, a pineapple. Eh, so I'll live with it. None of these other units really feel that apropos. I'm starting... I'm, I'm getting cocky, which is dangerous. I'm starting to feel like we might have cracked the code. I'm starting to feel like the code might have cracked me, brother. Never mind, I'm feeling like we are... No! <sighs> By one... If we weren't so cursed in the early game, that's a 10-piece. I, I feel like we learned a lot here. If you see two jellyfish, take them. If you see a monkey, take it. The worst you'll do is pretty good. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did, and I'll see you next time. See ya!